Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today, you're probably thinking, Arlen, where are you sitting? Where are you in your house? <laughs> Well, I'm sitting here right by my hutch. There's the table that's still covered with stuff. And I'm sitting right here by my big, my big hutch. It, just occurred, to, it yeah. just occurred to me that I don't think I've ever done this little cozy corner for you guys on camera. In fact, I'm sure I haven't. It always seems like it's an afterthought. It always seems like by the time I get here, I'm really tired. And I'm you know like, what, oh. why not? And I needed to clean it up really badly. Oh my land, you guys, it was so dusty, dog hairy. It was a mess since it was decorated for Christmas and everything. So I just undecorated everything and I have a bunch of stuff sitting here next to me and I'm gonna put together this little cozy corner. First thing I'm gonna do though is, you remember this jar that Candace got for me for Christmas? Well, I decided I'm not gonna try to do a big kind of flower arrangement in there at this time. First of all, I don't have flowers to put in it, if I'm honest. And, uh, but I always have a spare pitberry garland sitting around. So I started talking, I took the lid off and it's echoing. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> anyway, here's the jar. Let me put the camera down a little bit and so you guys can kind of watch me. Excuse how I am dressed. I'm not dressed any in any special way at all. I've just was going to be cleaning and organizing and getting myself ready to do my next few crafts and I just I have so much to do that I was just trying to get myself organized. You know, again, it's like a day of organization. So here I am with this little corner I ended up doing, you know, thinking I would do this little corner uh while I'm organizing and pulling, I'm trying to really, really, really trying hard to use everything that I already have. I'm trying not to go out and buy things that I'm probably gonna need to in that room, uh, in the living room, dining room that's behind you. But in this side of the house, I've had this stuff for years and years and years and I love it. And so anyway, this jar is new. So I pulled out a Pit Bear Garland. This is a newish one. I don't know when I got it. Uh, it is from the Pitberry Barn. This is just one of their Pitberry garlands, not mixed berry. This is just their Pitberry garland. Garland. Let me put my my phone down here a little bit and get you pointed down. I can't get it to go down any further. So as I'm sitting on the floor here, so I have a set of fairy lights. This is an old set that I've had for I don't know how long. And so let me unwrap this. I've got some batteries here. And I'm going to wrap this Pitberry garland in these fairy lights. I'm going to try to put this in, and this is going to snug in a corner over here by the crates. And I'm going to just have this, this box either snugged behind one of the crates or somehow I don't want this, uh, I don't want this inside the, the jar. So I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to leave it out, but camouflage it, you know? I was gonna cut it off, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna, this will be a hot mess to unfurl if I ever wanna unfurl this again, won't it? But I think I'll just snug these lights right on down in here. Okay, let me see if I can get the lid on. I don't know whether it'll screw on with that cord. Yeah, well, enough. And uh, let me see if I can lift this camera up and kind of put it behind me and maybe in over my shoulder maybe so that you guys can kind of watch me work. All right, now see, I cleaned out 
this crate. Excuse the wall behind it. These crates have been sitting here. I bought these from Home Goods uh, pretty close to when we moved in here. Excuse the dog hair. <laughs> it's everywhere. What can I say? I just need to get the vacuum over here. But anyway, first thing I'm going to do, I already have this stuff attached in this in this box and then I just have this tied on with a tie wrap so it'll stand up there these lights go out when I hit my remote y'all know I give you that link all the time these little lights this one and this one always go out every night when I turn them off I like this to sit in here. I like them to sit kind of cattywamp like that. And this is what I had up here in the summertime. And this is no big deal. This I just have a sign tied on to a, I guess this could be called a tobacco basket, an old tabas tobacco basket from Hen Workshops. And it fits a bowl that I use every night, actually, that Chris uses for a salad. <laughs> it came with a bowl, and I just had this, this basket. So, again, it's old, and I've used it for years and years and years. And I just stuck some pip berries up in here. And I think I bought another little tuft of oh, yeah, burgundy over here. I thought I would stick some burgundy in with this. No big deal. Just a little something-something there. like to have sitting the hutch and the, the wall and it sits there just fine I do kind of turn this crate a little bit more just to give this more stability okay now I have this and I usually have this on the top shelf some way. Not sure if I'll use that. Then I have my faith, family, and friends. Again, everything is dusty as all get out. These are ancient. Again, I have no idea where I got them. This is not the decor series where I'm able to give you a lot of links, is it? But it's one of those that I can show you that I don't always go buy new, you know? I try to shop in my own house. Always put faith on the highest. Again, they're ancient.
I'm all finished and really it was not that big of a deal and as you saw there was lots of dog hair flying around and dust and everything else <laughs> so you guys got to see it at me again and warts and all what can I say <laughs> but I, I'm really happy with how this little corner turns out I always love doing stuff like this I would sit and play with stuff like this all day I feel like a little girl playing with her dollhouse you know I really I thrive on these little cozy quarters, these little vignettes. I just think that they are so much fun to do and they get my creative juices flowing and to give you guys like inspiration and to give you guys some ideas. <laughs> but anyway, just a short little one here today. Um, I hope that all is well with everyone and, that I, and I hope that those of you who are struggling and suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, spending their days with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day that you can. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And remember, in crafting, there are no mistakes, only unique creations. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.